Let's go ahead and get started on a love reading. All right, we've got imagine. Imagine what it would be like. Imagine what it would be like to be in a relationship again. A happy, healthy, loving bond. What do you need to let go of in order for you to allow your imagination to just flourish? Let's go ahead and read that. Number 20. Which two is all about partnership. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating. So step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. So somebody who you have been manifesting, somebody who is, I'm not going to say the perfect partner because I don't think that there's a perfect person for anyone. I think that we have to learn how to, you know, work through a lot of the things that hold us back. You know, say you're not interested in redheads and then all of a sudden the most amazing redhead comes into your sphere and you're like, well, I don't know, you know, he, that's a redhead and that's not something I'm usually attracted to, but they're like the best thing that could have ever happened to you. You just got to get past the idea of them having red hair. Okay. So show me the divine masculine. All right. You are good enough to find masculine. Um, and finding a partner that is perfect for you, right? Perfect. I'm going to put that in there. Like I said, I don't think there's anybody who's totally perfect. And for feminines, confidence is your key to success. I think it's really funny how the feminine is on the masculine side and the masculine is on the feminine side. So it's like bringing the two together and um, being confident, knowing that, you know, I can manifest somebody who loves me for me. I can manifest somebody. Don't let pride get in your way. I love that. Don't let pride get in your way. But somebody who, and that's funny because we have Leo here twice. So this is somebody who is connected to that heart center. It's like your, your, your heart light is on and you've got that, that beacon of light that is just swirling around. And it's like, there's this attraction. There's this magnetic attraction that brings the two of you guys together. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. That's what I just heard. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Spirit, please show me the divine masculine and feminine. Show me the divine masculine and feminine. Wow, okay, we got the eight of swords. So it's like you don't even see this person coming in. Yep, you don't even see it. It's like the three of wands is like waiting for it, but not actually seeing it. Okay, the challenge is to allow the ships to come in. And you may not know what's going to be on those ships, but I guarantee whatever it is, it's exactly what is right for you. The one that Spirit says is right for you. We're going to have a lot of relationships that are coming together that the two people are on two opposite ends of the tracks. Okay, one person could have come from money and the other one didn't. Okay, one person is this nationality and this one is completely different. So it's like they're going to be relationships where we are completely different from the other person. For some of you, you could work with this person or could have met them at work or will meet them at work, okay? Yep, there it is. We've got the, the King of Cups. I feel like somebody is watching you. This person is from a distance or is in a distance right now. They are watching you. Karma, we've got a judgment call here, okay? And let's just keep going. Let's see what these are. Page of Wands. The death card. So today is that Scorpio eclipse. We are going through major transformations. We've got the Knight of Swords here, some type of information, communication that will be coming forward for the Divine Masculine and Feminine. Here we are. Uh, some of you could be dealing with two individuals or, you know, somebody who's been up all in their heart but hasn't really spoken up. And the last card out, wow, we got the Empress. So the Divine Feminine, you know your value, girl. You know your worth. You are stepping into your defense full divine goddess energy, 10 of wands, putting down what no longer serves you. Um, and uh, end of chapters is what I'm really seeing, especially with the judgment and karma card being right here. Uh, we do have this eclipse today and that is an eclipsed moon and it's an eclipsed moon in Scorpio. So it's about endings and it's, it's a lot of occult energy. It's almost like this mysterious energy that is 
uh, coming to the forefront. And it's almost like, be careful what you share about yourself. And my nose just started itching right when I said that. Um, keep a little bit of, you know, of yourself to the imagination. Try not to post everything on social media is what I also am getting. And my nose started itching right when I said that. Uh, keep a little bit of a mystery about you because um, uh, it's very intriguing. There's something intriguing about this mystery, allowing them to, it's almost like the masculine wants to figure you out. He's like, emotionally, you know, there's an attraction, but there's like this mental, like, ah, oh, if I could only just figure her out is what I'm getting. That's actually kind of fun, you know, leaving something to the imagination is what this is talking about. Um, you know, I do feel like, um, there is going to be some type of communication. Let's see what this communication is all about. Ooh, four of swords, nine of cups, and the knight of cups. Somebody here has been, you know, sitting back, not knowing if they should reach out and express to you their feelings for you. This could be a new person, somebody who knew who has stirred your romantic interest at this time. Um, but I feel like that is what this message is, is they want to come in with some type of an offer for you. It's an offer of love. It's an offer of emotion. Ocean. Um, and you know, but they're kind of a little analytical about it. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, oh my God, will she accept my offer? And you know, because the queen of, or I'm sorry, the empress here, she knows her value. And so she's not just going to, uh, she's like put up or shut up. You know what I mean? And these are coming from two kings, uh, which could, like I said, be the very same person, um, you know, the head over heart decision. They're trying to get their head and their heart uh, to come together as one and imagine what everything could be like uh, moving into union with this divine feminine. Um, yeah, very well could be um, this divine feminine. Hold on one second. I want to see what he's doing. Yeah, he wants to he wants to offer up something, but he's got a lot of shit going on in his head. Uh, he's definitely dealing with some stuff. With the Divine Feminine, she got the Six of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Temperance card. So it's like she is trying to, before she accepts any offers, especially from anything from the past, she's really weighing up her option and she is trying to be patient, not making quick uh, decisions. Anything that is coming at her, uh, she is able to successfully um, put down almost. I, I don't know what this is. I just see her like very successfully, very kindly, turning down offers that she knows is not worth her time, but in a very balanced and mature and methodical way. It's a very respectful way. So if this divine feminine is getting hit on by multiple people, she is very kindly declining because she's like, she's ending chapters. She's ending old relationships. She's ending a lot of stuff, uh, especially if there's been anybody in her life uh, that, you know, she had some type of an emotional connection to, um, you know, she's a lot more confident. She's a lot more bold. She's a lot more in her power. Um, and she's not letting anything or anyone get in that get in the way of what she wants. This is really a nice little uh, message here. Let's get some advice. All right, Spirit, please give me some advice for the Divine Feminine. Please show me some advice for the Divine Feminine. One more, Spirit, one more. Okay, and what advice do you have for the, wow, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So this is about exactly what the feminine is doing. Staying confident that whatever is meant for her, she's not going to have to deal with these, uh, you no know, scrubs, you know, whatever that is. Um, you know, she's leaving it to a higher power and, you know, she has, it's like the universe already knows exactly what you want. So it's like, 
just trusting in the universe that the universe is going to align you to exactly what you need at that time. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So feminines, if there is someone over here that you need to forgive, somebody that you stop talking to, um, you know, go ahead and start working on that because you want to make sure that you are not um, you know, getting in the way of your blessings and what it is that you have been wanting to come to fruition. Yeah, releasing your ex feminines, the time has come for you to clear your energy. Just like I was saying, forgiving and learning in this situation what you needed to so that you are in a position when the right masculine comes along, you will be able to accept the offer that is for you, depending on, again, what you're putting out. Your real, your feelings are real and worth exploring. This is about romantic feelings, you know, and it's like you definitely want love in the future, um, you know, but again, you were hoping to maybe reconcile with an ex. I, um, for, in this one, I'm not seeing it because it's asking you to release the ex, of, uh, ex energy. So if you have old things that the ex maybe gave you, maybe it's time you give back that key. Uh, you know, maybe it's time to, you know, get rid of those sheets that the ex and you purchase together. It's time for a new bed. You know, if you're really serious about moving forward, uh, in a new relationship, what advice do you have for the Divine Masculine? What advice do you have for the Divine Masculine, Spirit? What advice do you have for the Divine Masculine? Okay, wow, we got two cards out. Love yourself first. You are, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And for the Masculine's attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So being in the moment, Divine Masculine, um, knowing that you're good enough, knowing that the right person, the person that, you know, is going to be right for you is going to come along and worth waiting for exactly. Uh, divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is just, again, being in the moment because there is a separation. So maybe, you know, your divine feminine is who is going through a separation right now. Maybe the both of you guys are going through separations right now. Or if you already know who this person is, you guys are in separation and the feminine is saying enough is enough. I'm done. I'm letting it go. Uh, I'm waiting for something else to come in the future um you know so however this means for you there's other ways of looking about but like i said it is about putting down a heavy burden between you and another you know you and your past you and a partner uh or an ex partner because that's what exactly what this is saying so that you can call in the soulmate that you're looking for anyway you guys i want to thank you for being here thank you for watching if you are interested in that personal reading all my information is in the description box down below i am having a halloween special um go check it out on my website at thefootstepstopeace.com uh don't forget get to like share and subscribe you know i appreciate it it helps my channel grow and you guys i will see you soon take care